This is Wilbur Webster. He was a main guide during the 1880s up until 1892. He guided from the Kineo House, as well as the lodges up near Northeast Cary. He was employed as a lumberman and river driver. For a time, he was a special warden. In those years when Maine was just starting out, a young warden service. Before that, he was a sailor, an alligator hunter, and even broke Texas Broncos for a time. He drowned in crossing Moosehead Lake on January 4th, 1892. Webster went through the ice near Mount Kineo. He was 30 years old and he left behind a young wife. The photograph includes a handwritten caption on the back written by Maine historian and writer Fanny Hardy Eckstorm. This is the guide mentioned in the story A Clump of Posies, a typical Maine woodsman of the best sort. Webster guided for Fanny and her father Manly Hardy when they went to the Ripper Genus Dam area to document the lumber drive. You can read the full tribute written about Wilbur Webster, who was also responsible for keeping Miss Hardy and her father Manly Hardy safe from a threatening poacher. That story is in The Penobscot Man, Life and Death on a Main River.